Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then a great big hello and warm welcome to you. Please do make sure you share, like and subscribe for more content and make sure you follow us on our Instagram. My name is Jean-Paul and this is The Seated Gun. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So guys, what have we got for you today? We have got the Beretta Ultra Leggero and we are at the home of shooting, EJ Churchill's. And thanks to the wonderful guys over at GMK who've lent us these test guns, we're gonna show you something really nice and really special today. Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. Today, something a little bit different, something super lightweight. Um, and I have to say, something I wasn't thinking I was gonna be impressed with, but I've put some cartridges through it, guys, and I have to say, I'm really liking this gun. It is different, it's not gonna be for everyone, but it is quite a pleasure to use. Um, super, super quick, what is it? It's the Beretta Ultra Leggero, or if you're English, Legaro, however you wanna pronounce it, Ultra Light. Um, absolutely lovely. Um, very, very light, uh, weighing in at uh, just a little over six pounds. So very, very light, and I'm gonna go through it with you now so you can understand why. So starting at the back, as we always do, we've got Beretta's ultra lightweight pad on the back, slightly lighter than the normal pads, and of course you can build up the length should you need a slightly longer stock. 14 three quarter length stock. Something really different about this is that the stock is actually hollow. Um, they've taken out most of the cavity in the stock to make to get the lightweight element to the gun. Um, great from a point of getting rid of the weight, but of course what it does do, of course, is it gives you very little against recoil. We'll talk about that in a minute. But as we go back through, very little palm swell, if anything at all. Um, going up and onto the top lever, all very plain, very simple, all in this sort of like a matte black finish, auto safety. Obviously, black trigger guard, trigger, going up onto the action. It's based on a 690 action, so absolutely bulletproof when it comes to, uh, obviously, usability, functionability, and lasting. So great from that point. What you will notice, of course, is these nice little shoulders. I'm gonna to talk to you about that in a second, because that is something that is quite special and something I really, really like the, uh, the thought and just the, the way that they've thought about that, just to give you something a little bit different. So barrel wise guys, comes in a 26, 28 or a 30. Um, as you'll see, no center rib. The gun's been completely stripped out guys so that everything that carries weight is actually removed to get this gun uh, super light. Um, and it is super light, it's super fast. Um, so barrel, no center rib. We've got a six mil skinny rib across the top, one bead at the end. It is a multi-choke, guys, so um, usable for every type of shooting you can imagine, which I think is just another great thing to have. I know everyone is a, um, it has an opinion of whether fixed or multi. Personally, for me, I think multi gives you the option of guns for every occasion, but it is a preference. Um, now, guys, one of, the big, one of the big elements with this gun is the action is actually uh, obviously still steel, um, but it's a skeletal frame. So what they've done is they've taken out every little bit of extra material that you would normally get on a gun. They've taken it out to get the weight down. Um, it's very similar to what the Italians do with the Lamborghini, uh, with their Perform Performante edition, where they literally strip out everything. So you pay extra, but you don't get any air con, you don't get electric windows, you don't get a radio, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, that's what Beretta have done with this. Um, and I have to say, they've done a fantastic, fantastic job. Um, now, as we were talking about the side plates, I don't know if you can actually see from there, but these side plates are actually plastic, as is the underneath of the action, and that goes all the way through the action. So they've actually started using plastic pieces on a gun, which is not new. Um, you know, plastic guns, glocks, and all this type of thing have been going on for years, but on a shotgun, it is quite new, and they've done that again to keep the weight down. Um, the nice thing, again, with the side plates is, of course, is that what you can do, uh, which is something that's very unique to Beretta, is you can actually design your own. So these actually do pop off. If you take the stock off, these actually just slide straight out, 
And then what you can actually do is you can change these as often or as frequently as you want to whatever designs you want via a CAD 3D type sort of printing system with Beretta. So again, it makes the gun really, really unique. Guys, we're here. We're going to test the Ultra Leggero today. Uh, we're at the North Stand, uh, one of the North Stands um, at EJ Churchill's. And uh, what I want to do really is just see how quick this gun actually is. And let's just see what it reacts like with different rounds going through it. So first rounds we're going to put through are some 21 gram eights they're fibers um, so ideally these would be great on the clay and also quick pretty good on the water so the nice thing is with a gun as quick as this is we haven't got a delay on the controller so what i want to do is really just push the controller and see how quickly it'll get up to my shoulder and how quickly it can be positioned and fire and still hit the clay so we'll give it a go with a straightforward going away And guys, it moves very, very quickly. It's quick, it's smooth. There's no doubting about that if you want something quick in the hand, this is the way to go. Guys, let's run through with some 28 gram eights now. So something a slightly little bit heavier. Now, the reason I want to try these is just to really see what sort of recoil we're gonna get with a gun that's been shaved and cut back so much it's so important that um, it's also comfy when you shoot it and the recoil doesn't break your shoulder so let's put some 28s through it same target going away see how we get on mm. different feel all together um, an awful lot of kick uh, just on those 28 so 21 gram to a 28 a lot of kick on those going away um, I don't think you'd want to shoot a lot through it uh, at that weight what I want to do though is most walked ups are going to be using a 30 or a 32 gram for their walked up so we've got a great target here with with the target B to going away which means it's basically a rising bird coming out the woods so let's put some 32 gram fibers through it game cartridges and let's just see how it gets on with that. You're not going to want to use 32s in it. It is harsh, really harsh. Um, it moves exceptionally quick. Um, there's no doubting that. And it comes up so well. Um, but yeah you're not going to want to put much in this more than a 24 gram cartridge in my opinion um, i think all in all as a gun walked up wise wow it's going to be fantastic um, it's quick it's light if you're carrying it around all day you know i don't think you're going to get much better than that but in the same angle um, i think you're gonna to have to be really 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 careful about what cartridges you decide to use through it all in all i think it's a great gun uh would i own one absolutely what would i use it for walked up and walked up only i've got to be honest to you guys if you want a gun and you're going to walk for miles maybe let off five or six shells in a day then this is the gun for you guys if you're going to want to stand on a clay ground and let reels and reels of clay uh, of rounds off then it's not for you so guys all in all it's a fantastic gun um We've done some fantastic shooting with it here at the home of shooting EJ Churchill's today. And I have to be honest with you, really, really impressed. So much so that if I was able to do walked up, and I know a lot of our viewers do ask me to comment on walked up shooting because they do follow our game shooting days. Um, I'd love to do some walked up, but unfortunately due to the circumstance of being in the chair, that's not possible. But if I did do walked up, then I would be straight to my local Beretta dealer to buy one of these because I have to say, I loved it. I wouldn't put much more than a 21 or a 24 gram cartridge through it because I wouldn't want a broken shoulder, but all the same, great fun and super, super, super quick. Price-wise, guys, which is always the important factor, the gun retails at about two and a half thousand pounds, um, and that is in the box, ready to go, box fresh, all ready for you to use. I hope you've liked watching us today. Uh, I hope you've liked watching us shoot the gun. Hopefully we've given you lots of information and a few different things to think about. Guys, don't forget, make sure you share, like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and we're going to see you really soon. Take care.